Hey YouTubers, it's RC here with RC67. And I got a couple cars here on the turnstile I want to go ahead and showcase for you guys. First car on the turnstile here is a 57 Chevy. This has been a mainline car for Hot Wheels for many, many, many years. And it's even been a treasure hunt, I believe, a couple times, and a super treasure hunt, I believe, a couple times. And I have not seen one in a Gulf color. So I decided to take this one apart and then paint it in the Gulf blue color, add some Gulf decals on it, as well as a nice set of uh, uh, rubber red line racing tires. So let me give you a little bit of background on this car. This car is a mainline car from this year's 2023 set. It was in gold with some white stripes and white wall tires. Uh, the base of the car was all chrome. So y'all know I, when I get these cars and I go ahead and pull them apart, I do out these mushroom heads here, the front one and the back one, separate the car out, this base was all chrome, so it was uh, thrown in some oven cleaner, and I let it soak in there. That will de-chrome it. Uh, then I had the paint stripper get the paint off the car, and then I uh, sand it down, and then I buff it a little bit, and then I get ready for paint. The wheel set I chose is Redline Rubber Redline Racing Set, and they're from the Redline shop. And I put these on it. The rear set had to be modified slightly. I had to file down some of the uh, width to make it a little bit narrower for this rear set axle to fit. But it fit real nicely once I got it set and it came together real well. Um, and then of course I detailed the chassis then back to the areas that I wanted chrome to give it a little bit more realistic look because most cars are not chromed out on the bottom. Uh, interior was all black so I left that the way it was. And then of course I painted it in the Gulf blue and I added a couple decals on it and then I did a little bit of accents here you can see here, you got your rear tail lights I painted. And then when it comes back around, um, you'll see the front here, but I got some detail here, chrome on the bumper. You got some chrome on the side pipes there. And then of course, coming around the front here, you're gonna see the, the headlights are, are uh, colored in a little bit. You got the chrome bumper, you got your turnstile lights on either side. So all in all, I thought this car came together really well and it, it turned out really good as far as the paint. Again, I used the Tamiya paint and the Tamiya clear coat and came out real well. The casting of this was very, very nice. There was not any flaws in it, so this was a good casting. So I was real happy with this one. So that's the first car. Second car is a Grand Sport. This is a Corvette Grand Sport. And this was a car that ran on the U.S. circuit back in the 60s, racing against Camaro and some of the other muscle cars at the time. Uh, Ford, I believe, had the GT500, or the, maybe it was a GT40, I can't remember which one, that they were using to compete on that circuit, but eventually they went overseas and they competed against Ferrari, and that's when that big Ferrari versus Ford rival started there. But this car here was originally in black with yellow stripes on it, and then it had the four hard plastic wheels with yellow as uh, accents for the mags. I got these wheels here um, from a guy on eBay uh, called Mike Munsels, and he does a whole bunch of stuff with cars, custom cars, and he also makes mag wheels and, and axle sets and stuff. So that was where I got that set from. Fit this set real nice. Again, I pulled the car apart, de-chromed the bottom. This one didn't have a lot of chrome on it, but I did some gray work and then some chrome work. And then put the body in the stripper, stripped it down, I sanded it, filed it down a little bit, and then went ahead and painted it in that Gulf Blue. Again, I wanted a Corvette Grand Sport in my collection. Uh, I know that this year is a Super Treasure Hunt Grand Sport in, in a Gulf color, but I'm not going to pay the price that they're asking for it. So I decided to make my own, which I was very happy with the way it came out. Did a little two-tone on it, so you've got the hood, has that gulf orange on there, and then, of course, the vents are chromed out on the side. I add a little bit of gulf detail there, and then, of course, all around the car, there's different accents that are chromed out, such as the door handles, um, the rear gas cap, and then, of course, the hinges for the, the trunk lid on the back of the car. So that is the second car that I finished up, and again, I was real happy with the way this turned out, so this would be a great addition to go into my gulf car collection there, so... That's the second one there. The third one here, and this is a car that I found. Um, it was the Jeep Gladiator, and it had these two motorcycles in the back of it. So it was in white. It had some striping on it, and I just was like, that is kind of honestly ugly. And so I saw this exact Jeep 
one day driving down the road, lifted like this with big wheels on it, big chrome mag wheels. It was all black. And I was like, that's a pretty cool looking car. So uh, that's what I did. I stripped this one apart and I painted it all black. I did some detail accents on the car. You'll see coming around here, you got the door handles. I chrome those out. The hinges, the mirrors are detailed a little bit. On the front, I got the bumpers chrome. Of course, the light system, you got your turn bars there. Put a bigger set of wheels and tires on it. So again, it's a, it was a bigger set of wheels than what came with the car. What I really liked about it was when I detailed these motorcycles on the back here. I did one in red and one in green. And after it dried, they actually got darker as it cured. So I was really happy with how detailed it started to really look. So it came out very well. So I was really, really happy with the way this came out. Uh, there's a little bit of detail on the back here, the chrome bumper, and then of course you have your rear tail lights and then your marker lights as well. So this car here though, I'm actually gonna send to my brother. Um, he's a big Batman guy and I got a handful of Batman cars I picked up about a week or so ago. And I thought, oh, you know what, I'm, I was making this Jeep. I don't put a lot of Jeeps in my collection, but I thought, you know what, I'll send him this. It was a custom car. So I'm gonna send him a custom Jeep to add to his collection and hope he enjoys that. So, but anyway, uh, I, I wanna throw a, a, a challenge out or a request out to my viewers and subscribers. Uh, I'd like some of you guys to maybe, you know, give me a car that you would like to see me work on. I don't know, maybe a Porsche, a Volkswagen, another Camaro, you know, come up with a car that you guys want me to detail and let me know, you know, what you want me to detail it in. Um, you know, I've got General Lee's, I've done uh, from McLaren's, I've done the Batman cars, I've done a bunch of American muscle cars like the Charger, the Camaro, the Corvettes, the Mustangs. But I'm going to throw this out to my subscribers and my viewers. If you have a car that you'd like to see me detail and add to a collection somewhere, let me know. I'd love to do one. Uh, and I'll kind of kind of take a collection of who has the largest number of uh, votes as far as you know what one get, would get it. And I'll go ahead and do one. But anyway, this is RC with RC67. If you guys would like, comment, or subscribe. Hope you all are having a great day. Take care.